All right, so just gonna move on with this. Uh, we already know what's gonna happen. All right, so if we're basing this off of last video, when I said that I took two, or there were two photo shoots in a way, as far as with taking photos, the first one was the last edit, the last video I worked on, which was the old pickup truck um, from Chevy. Second one, believe it or not, as weird as it may be, it was this house. Now, granted, I don't know. It's it's just a it's just a little weird as far as you know why why did I decide to edit this house? And to be honest, or to or retract, rephrase, why did I decide on taking taking a photo of this certain house? In all fairness, I I actually really don't know. Uh, I I would I don't have an answer really for for you guys as far as what why my what was my reason for it my reason for for taking the photo I don't know I just it was just passing by and I just liked how it looked so that's why I I took it and that's the this is what we're gonna work with again is it the is it the I think the last time I edited this photo was day four day three. Somewhere between those, it was one of my early videos. So, other than that, really, that's well. Before before that, um, there hasn't really been much more uh, as far as with architecture, photos, and maybe even a video. So this would be, I guess, like a second part to that in a way. I'm not entirely sure. Um, so as unfortunate as it may be, I kind of already want to set the set the kind of the pace as far as with this photo. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but first of all, before I get into it, I, I was happy that I was able to to publish, edit, and upload the, the video beforehand because yeah, afterwards I, I did go to my night shift and man, I tell you, uh, I'd rather not say. So ever since that I've, and then I still had to work normally uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm a little bit drained today. Uh, I'm a little bit drained, but that's like I've stated previously, I'm not trying to make that the reason why my videos are kind of lackluster in a way. But like I've stated, I'm going to try to make, I'm really trying, and especially more recently, I really am trying to make these videos less than roughly 30 minutes. So far, I've checked, I've done a pretty decent job as far as keeping my promise with that. Because, you know, as I look more and more towards, you know, what I've been doing or, or, or more specifically as far as the length of my videos, you know, maybe not just for the viewer wise, but let's just take it upon me, myself, as far as with editing. Again, maybe it's just something I'm doing incorrectly as far as with the rendering and the, and the exporting process, but... I tell you, these these videos were the ones that tend to last longer. Man, I, maybe back then in the time, maybe that I was thinking of something, but more as I look back at it, uh, I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. You know, because uh, again, like I stated, I don't think for you guys going sitting through an hour um, every single, really at this point every single day, spending an hour of your days just watching a guy moving around some sliders just to make a half decent photo. I don't think that would be a a very interesting video. So like I've stated, my goal with this more recently and like I've stated, I think I've been doing a pretty good job as far as keeping up with keeping up with my with my promise. Just making these videos again more interesting, but at the same time not trying to make them as long as as back then. Again, if I if if it really needs to be pushed to to more than uh, more than thirty, then it is what it is. But my absolute max, I'm trying to keep it. I'm not trying to pass it. Is more than forty minutes. But I think so far, and really more recently, I think I've been doing a a better job as far as with controlling that. So I guess that is one one good thing that I really do like. Now, well, I just so far, I've made some couple adjustments as far as with tone curve. Again, if we need to come back, we'll come back. As far as with basic, just really the normal. As far as with what's my what's my direction 
with this photo to be quite honest with you i really don't know what my what's my what's gonna be my what what's my goal with achieving in this photo i'm not sure so to be honest as as weird as it may be i'm just kind of going with the flow of just moving some sliders seeing what what hits me seeing if there's something interesting as far as with masking I don't think we would need to mask anything. Maybe the sky, maybe, but that's too also questionable. But like I've stated, it's I, uh, to be honest, I don't have really um, an end goal as far as what I'm trying to achieve with this photo. It's just mostly in the fact that, oh, I guess in a way more practice, right? So, but actually as I look at it, I don't know if cropping would also be a good idea. No, you know what? No, no, because I actually, the reason why I took this photo, because I liked how, well, first off, because this neighborhood in like, in particular, when, when I visited, um, this part, um, this particular neighborhood, by far one of the nicest neighborhoods I've, I've probably seen at all in my life. It very, very cool. Like just because the houses themselves, not just the houses themselves that they look beautifully designed, right? But just it's open space. There's not a single fenced in house, which. I don't know, it, it, when I was driving around the neighborhood, it gave me a feeling, a certain feeling that, to be honest, I, I don't know really how to explain it. I don't know. But th that's, the, and this was one of the first, this was one of the first uh, um, homes that came, that, or that's on the, uh, that, that, that was on the road. So that's mostly the reason why I decided to take the photo. Am I possibly going to take more photos in this same neighborhood in the future? Maybe, but to be honest, I, I would definitely, I would need to see as far as why would I be taking it, right? Maybe a, a reason why I would, maybe to, I don't know, to practice my editing skills in architecture as far as with houses. Because believe it or not, um, at first today was going to be, because I did take some photos in DC on my free time. But more looking back at it, yeah. Uh, all those photos, personally for me, I didn't like how they came out. So, unfortunate as it may be, because I took roughly like 20. And mostly, a grand majority of them were of architecture, which is what I'm editing right now, right? So, who knows, maybe buildings and houses and just architecture as a whole, in general, maybe that might be something I may, I may, what's it called? I might get into right but again it's just a thought right now and we'll see how it is um so as far as with color grading again maybe i'm pushing this photo more towards the warmer side again what, what will be my end goal to be honest i really don't know we're just gonna have to go with the flow now i have looked back on my last edit or my last video that i've edited like I've stated, as far as with, with not well, car photography, if we're just in the sense of car photography, the, the photos I've edited um, within the realm of car photography, that's hands down probably one of my most favorite photos of all time I've edited. Now, as a whole, again, like I've stated, it's creeping, it's it's arriving, it's very close to the number one spot. And to be honest, there's even portions of me that I really do actually like how how it came out. However, as I look back, if I do a before and after, that is very much heavily edited, you know, and from a, from a person like me that beforehand, and I don't think I've addressed this uh, in any videos, but, you know, for me, as far as with photography, I don't want to over edit the photo or yeah, to really over edit the photo a, a lot, right? But I don't know, maybe I wasn't really much paying attention. And to be honest, I really wasn't because when I did the final before and after, it caught me, um, it caught me by surprise as far as, you know, how vastly different the, the original raw photo came out and then how the final photo came out. So, I mean, don't get me wrong. Is this by no sense of me saying, you know, I hate the photo, right? I, I still very much enjoy the, I still very much enjoy the photo. And by far, again, like I've stated, it possibly might go down as one of my most favorite photos I've edited in general, right? Not just within the, not just within the car photography realm. 
but in the sense that when I said that I maybe overdid it, more looking back as I analyzed it, yeah, I think I, I think I just slightly overdid it. But you know what? It's personally, I think it's, I think it should be no issue, right? So that's that's mostly regarding of yesterday. That's mostly my comments now. I've been sliding. Uh, as far as with right now with shadows, I don't think we're gonna do any changes with shadows. Midtones just again a very it's just a very slight increase more towards the the warmer side again like I've stated. But I don't know to be honest. Maybe to be honest that may be it. Now with with highlights, I don't see much of a difference. And to be honest, I'll just leave it. I'm just not gonna do any any changes with highlights. Again, if we need a comeback, we'll come back. I think I've said that in every single video but if i just want to make that kind of make that clear that you know is this by no mean that oh this is the final this is the final edit right if i need to come back to rearrange or readjust some certain sliders then then i'll do that now as far as with sharpening to be honest since i took this on the on my 30 millimeter i took this on my 30 millimeter i don't think i would need to I mean, if we were to zoom in to the bricks, to the brick work, I think it's already, re it's already relatively sharpened. I don't think we would need to add in more, but let's just, for the sake of it, just add an increase of detail, maybe sharpening as well. Just something very minor, right? Now, we've done a little, little few changes. No, let's just currently four. Okay, I can, I can definitely see we're we're gonna head towards that yet again that vintage style look. Um, like I think, like many of my photos have been coming out right. I don't know. I guess since I've been really aiming more towards that vintage look in a way, although in some cases I don't really tend to aim towards that, but it's just the way how I'm editing. I guess that's just the way how it's coming out. It's got me thinking to some certain points that, you know, should I just go out and buy a, a film camera? Like the ones that you, you use to, to put in the film and it comes out and it's got a process or dry out or whatever that process is called. You know, as I, as I more edit these photos and especially yet last, last photo and then I guess now this photo, it's just got me thinking, you know, should I just go out and maybe do i guess there is a type of photography that involves film cameras if i'm correct i think they're called still photos i'm not entirely informed as far as you know what 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 are still photos to be honest i just saw maybe one video once as far as what the whole gist of still photos are who knows maybe that might be something that that I may do in the future. I don't know. It's just me. Just it's just a thought, right? So, yeah. I, I guess since we're kind of aiming towards this vintage look, kind of yet again, right? I've added a vignette in effect. I think it's pretty good so far. Now, as far as with masking, like I've stated, if we were to do the subject, and I have tested this out, we're gonna get the barn, the car, and relatively the whole house and the bushes. You know, to be honest, I don't think I would need to arrange or adjust any changes. Although, as I'm seeing it right now, maybe just an increase in contrast would not be a bad idea, right? Although, at the same time, I would want to tend to slightly expose the, the bushes. So, maybe if we were to just... Okay. Again, I, I need to be very careful with this because I don't want to overdo it. Right, because I don't want it to look unnatural. And to be honest, maybe I'll just leave that as, as it is, maybe. But I don't know. I just tend to like how contrast or just an increase with contrast tends to add in some sort of, maybe in a way more detail to the house. So maybe just an increase with contrast. As far as with highlights, uh, let's see, what do I let's see? Maybe just slightly exposing the, the house. So we'll just slightly increase highlights anything else we would add whites 
we just keep it the same if not just a very minor increase like you really wouldn't notice okay now as far as with blacks this is what i'm talking about with blacks since it's gonna also kind of expose a little bit of the bushes maybe just if we were to decrease it maybe right there okay i really i would really need to look at this okay so we're Okay, so believe it or not, we're we're gonna keep it like that. I don't know, maybe it just adds more into that 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 old Polaroid style look. Maybe I'm not entirely sure. So we'll just again with masking. Well, as far as with subject, not much to really change or alter. But as I was looking at it, maybe if we were to do the sky, what could we be able to achieve? Maybe if I were to mix up with the colors here and there, maybe I could achieve something, maybe like altering it, maybe kind of pushing it towards the warmer side. Cause again, I, I always tend to also like how the histograms are. And as far as with shadows, uh, the the blues are kind of out of the, out of the roof right now. So believe it or not, if we were to go to, where is it? Here we go to the curve. Head to the blues, or I'm sorry, this would be the, or never mind. I guess, why would that be the highlights though? I really thought this would, be, yeah, it's the shadows right here. Well, anyways, we'll leave that be, I guess. I don't, I don't know what's going on with that. Um, so back to what I was trying to attempt on doing. I'm gonna just very slightly, cause although I am pushing towards more of the warmer side, the sky, itself it is kind of towards the cooler side so maybe if i were to just slightly increase the the temperature just just to kind of kind of blend in with this with the warmer theme of the photo as a whole maybe if i were to do that maybe even just slightly man i mean okay not saturation but maybe even just a slight change in the hue, maybe. Although, as I'm looking at it, I don't think that would be a good idea. No, okay, so we'll just leave that be. And believe it or not, I think that is actually going to conclude, really, I think that's just gonna conclude the photo for today, although maybe if we were to, Okay, I don't want to overdo it. You know, we'll just leave it how it was. I, I, I liked how it was as far as with a nice blend with warm and cool colors. So we'll just leave it as it is. So I don't want to say that's it, right? But at the same time, I would I would need to see what else I, I could add in. So if we were to just do it before and after right now. It's before. Okay. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I really liked how it came out. Again, I really did. As far as like, if we're, again, if we're trying to accomplish, I guess the recurrent theme with my photos, which is as far as making them into a film style photo, I think we would say that, uh, personally, I would say that we did a good job, right? But although, I don't know what else we would be able to add as far as with masking, detailing. I mean, with tone curves, we basically, Checked out everything, color mixture maybe as well. I don't know. I would really need to. Let, let me. How about this? I'll. For what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna currently kind of go through, seeing what else or what other options I have, and I'll see if I add, if I'll add in something else for this photo. All right. So, um, really, again, I, I guess, as it came out, to be honest, I don't see any other changes I could add on to the photo without make without again over doing it too much like I did in the last photo so what I just did was although it was very minor just a slight increase with sharpness as far as with the with the house and with the subjects so uh, personally for me in the time that I was looking to seeing what else I could do that's that's all what I saw so believe it or not as quick and as abrupt this may be this may actually be all of it again as far as with 
as far as with just editing and just doing something, although again, although it may be very minor, I I personally liked how it came out. So if we were to this before, okay, again, if my goal was to, I guess now my recurring goal with these with many of these photos is if I were to take it and make it into a vintage old Polaroid style photo, I would say mission accomplished, right? Although maybe I would need a maybe I do need a to switch it up right maybe uh maybe i do need to switch it up as far as with what i'm trying to achieve again it's mostly concerned the fact that these photos that i'm taking again with my work schedule and just sometimes even just luck maybe that's the reason why i'm using the same reoccurring goal as far as making them vintage i know one day on i, I don't know when especially with now especially how my schedule is trying to look like but i do one day want to go out and just take long exposures that's one thing that's one type of style or that's one photo style i really want to get my hands on and get more practice on because i told you currently mine my favorite as far as with right now although it's questionable at the moment is day 17 the long exposure video or i'm sorry the long exposure photo that's hands down probably one of my most favorite ones on a simple photo, on a simple long exposure attempt, because that was really one of my first long exposure attempts with with that type of style. And that turned out to be one of my most favorite edits now. Again, as far as with that one and last video, it's, 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 it's questionable as far as which one is my overall favorite. But nonetheless, what I'm trying to say is that, although yes, I am taking photos every day, maybe are they, are they interesting are they better are they really you know it's questionable but i i definitely do want to go out and kind of test myself experiment kind of learn hands-on experience as far as with long exposure nighttime i just saw not on a video not too long ago on like the basic steps as far as with astrophotography again that may be something i may look into but Again, it's just mostly on the fact of just my schedule, not just in person for my personal life, but mostly for also my work life. I would need to find the time for that. But again, did, did I like this photo, how it came out? Yes. Was it questionable as far as, you know, what was I trying to attempt with this photo? Maybe. But I think overall, I liked how this photo came out. And I, I wouldn't be surprised if you guys were to expect more photos like this coming soon especially in this neighborhood there were some houses that really caught my eye not just this one but there was even more that there were several house houses that caught my eyes so again just don't be surprised if you see another photo like this you know popping up in my instagram or you guys expecting another video like this right but again, I'll, I'll try my best as far as to make them more interesting and not to make them, you know, kind of bland, generic and kind of the same old, same old, right? But again, for me in this time, I guess it's just more, just getting more practice, practice. And the only, the only way how I'm really going to get more practice is, although it may be, I don't know, as far as with you guys, just the same thing. But for me, repetition, doing it over and over again, kind of getting the hang of things kind of get in a feel personally for me that's how i kind of learn and uh, as far as with right now that's how i'm gonna do it but other than that that's really all i have for today i'm kind of sorry if i've been kind of tired slash boring i wouldn't be surprised if you guys even think i'm boring but i'm telling you i, I just have as far as with last video and this video it's been a chaotic 24 hours for me again i don't even want to get into details but it's been a chaotic, busy, very busy 24 hours. That's all I really gotta say. That's all I'm, That's all what I'm gonna say as far as with, with this day. But hopefully for tomorrow I get more energy and maybe who knows, maybe I'll go out and actually shoot a better interesting photo. So then, you know, cause we're, we're closing into 30 days, like I've stated, what am I gonna do? On that next milestone, I would still need to think about it, but we're, we're closing in, so uh, I'm also really excited for that. But other than that, I really got nothing else to say. I thank you all so much for watching, and hopefully, if 
hopefully if, if, if I don't get too lazy, this daily uploading journey continues and I'll see you guys tomorrow.